In actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly. Although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened to you? In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudodarks. But our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Visitors? 
Holy cow, you're as pale as a vampire. Have a safe trip. from the afterworld. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of a gun. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I just died of curiosity. Places explored and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission, the biggest we've ever seen. These days, our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together because our guys ain't here for loot, they're fighting for a cause. Collecting bottles one after another, and they let me hear. <laughs> I'm kidding. But the truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. They didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cole. In our base, as you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others on his train. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Call. He knows what Leave them alone with, with your dirty jokes. I need to that. see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the Zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the Zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. 
We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now, you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. I see. How can I help you? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. We're Your under experience attack. can save the lives attack. of Help. many of my... That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? Great. Get over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Trader, a fighter is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. Roger that. Hurry. Hello there. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boy... You have my full attention. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front. 
Look. Hello, Mark. Well, then, I was going up, you know. Cold. Leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libertad says he needs to see you, then he loves to discuss you. Got some fresh air? As a I get me. This is the second outpost. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! That's enough chit chat. There's been another at great. Roger that. Visited? At last. I've been. You're right on time, bro. I'm real low on ammo, so let's make the best of it together. Attention all fighters. Any mission is approaching. Get to cover now! You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. 
Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point that our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Vefe, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish crater. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the brain scorcher. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. You're right. But we do know how to prevent a disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. 
That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Through these swamps, of course, how else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Your main guide is the objective section. Your main objective is displayed here, together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Most objectives are also displayed on the map, with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy, but also capturing key positions. In these situations, our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. And this is our equipment supply. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions as well as each faction's combat strength. Your personal stats are also displayed here. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. 
Hello there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? Prized exotic wonders? Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, as long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere, even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed. You think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa. But it's officially forbidden, prohibited, and all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and everybody's happy. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, your best bet is to try to buy it off them. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there, but the best tidbits pass this place by. I haven't had a unique item in my store for ages. Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the Scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last your lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there and then. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I've told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. Good luck to you. Все течет, все поломалось, ничего не меняется. Сегодня сидим себе спокойно, водочку кушаем, а завтра уже переться куда-то надо, материалы добывать. What you need, stalker? We're there, so you can take your blindfold off. Don't you try to follow me, it won't work anyway. If you want to come back to the base, find one of the guys at the fishing hamlet. It 
looks like you're at the Great Swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. You Quick, should find the location of our squad there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. We can't hold on much longer. Hurry, help us! of you to come. They're gonna get a warm welcome now. What do you want? Thanks for helping out. Come by our base when you get a minute. We'll return the favor. Keep your eyes peeled. Where are you little shits hiding? That's it. Chill, fellas. You want anyway. So Если что, за себя постоять можно. Is it a... Want a trade? Have a safe trip.
места. Никогда не знаешь, какой сюрприз за пистолет. Стокер, вот ты... What's up, stalker? Enough to give the renegade a real good kicking. Our next objective is their main base. 